one thing you can count on. You push a man too far, and sooner or later he'll start pushing back. This wasn't the first one. This was a follow-up to a string of murders. It was like Christmas. Every month, a new gruesome present for me to open. You could say that this Doduo got tangled up in affairs, twisted like the cheap pretzel you get on your short break with the salty taste of death sprinkled on top. Carefully picked out, this wasn't a case of wrong place, wrong time. Jenny? Sir? Get me a coffee, black. Right away, sir. When you're in this deep, there's no way of getting out. If only Tim was here, we'd crack this case in no time. Me and Tim had been partners for a long time. Almost like a cheesy crime show on TV, we were the buddy cops everyone was jealous of. However, all good things come to an end, especially when life's biggest obstacle gets in the way. Puberty. Tim got bored and left me in the ashes of what used to be fond memories. The only thing that kept me running was the taste of cheap coffee, this hot liquid pouring down my throat like lava, forcing me to stay in this hell hole. It was a blessing straight from the devil himself. Jenny, the sweetest angel at the department, her smile could heal wounds. If only I wasn't the bitter bastard I was, I could be more for her. Sir. What is it, Jenny? Another one, just now. Let's go. I knew from the get-go that this one felt different, more deliberate, planned, executed. The killer was acting like a child, and I was his favorite toy. He had me under his control, controlled what I did and didn't see. Here, he was trying to show me something specific. Jenny, we're heading back. Is there anything you need from me, sir? No, oh, thanks, Jenny. Go get some rest. Good work today. Sir. It's the calm before the storm that scares me the most, and I was about to hit it head on. The killer was creative, making letters out of his victims. Like a nightmare on Sesame Street, he painted his pictures with blood and intestines. I got hit in the face with the shovel of reality before the storm even came, realizing I was already too late. Jenny. The weather made the scene as my tired feet ran off in the distance, feeding off the idea it was gonna make a difference. Freeze! Police! But I was already too late. No, 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 please, no. She was the dame to die for, but instead, the Grim Reaper didn't even give me that. Give it up, you sick bastard. It's the end of the line. If only I was as popular as you, Pikachu. What? If only you would show people that I was also as important as you were. Well? <laughs> Now the spotlight is on me. <laughs> How does it feel, Pikachu, to have everything taken from you? You took my childhood from me. Tim was right. I was a sucker for the press. His flies were attracted to crap. I was attracted to cases. Didn't think about Tim's feelings at all. Now it made him like this. But why resort to killing? You're better than that! <laughs> you know, I wanted to be a Pokémon Master. I wanted to be the very best. But instead of that, I was chasing you around all the time. This is so much more fun. You gotta kill them all, right, Pikachu? And I haven't killed a Pikachu yet. Don't you do it. Damn it, Tim! Looks like I'll be flying off again. <laughs> no! They were all dead. The final gunshot was an exclamation mark on everything that had led to this point. I ended up being the villain of the story, the center of it all making victims of the people I cared for the most. 
At least the coffee's still crap. <laughs> <laughs>